Welcome to the Windows channel and today I'm going to show you how to actually customize your start menu. That's of course the first thing you'll see in Windows 10, that new start menu. But a lot of people don't like the tiles, a lot of people don't want modern apps, a lot of people just want to have a start menu that's pretty much cleaned up and frankly there's a lot of stuff that's there that shouldn't be there uh, on that start menu. So how do you actually clean that up and put just your favorite apps and your favorite programs there? Simply right click on any tile you don't want, first of all. So th the idea is that just remove everything you know you'll not use at first and then we'll see on how to add and organize the start menu. So for example, I will unpin, you right click on the uh, tile and you unpin from start. Anything you don't want, you unpin from start. So here I go, unpin, unpin, uh, we'll unpin this, unpin money, news I want to keep, so I'll put it here, uh, fresh paint, nope, one note, nope, and I got office already. So here I've removed that, there's candy crush that I will remove here. Uh, this one is a tile for Twitter. I'll unpin that one because I don't use the app for Twitter. I prefer going on the website, for example. Uh, phone companion, I will remove. I want to have the weather, and I think the weather and the news should go together. So I'll put them close. I will resize the tile, so you can see here by right-clicking, not only can you unpin, you can resize. I will resize the tile to have it wide and try to have it just below here. That's it. To, uh, you know, push them around, all you do is click and move the tile and just drop it where you want. And so uh, edge is okay. I want the store, I want mail, and uh, probably will want uh, the calendar, but I'll put it wide here. There we go. So the calendar is here, uh, mail is here, edge, and the store. So I could uh, maybe just put edge in a separate corner with um, the store also in a separate corner like this so that I have, you know, a placement like I like. Uh, if you want to add stuff that's not there, all you have to do is um, go into all apps and look at the list. And you can right click and pin to start. Or you can search for it. So for example, I want to have Internet Explorer because I do use it from time to time, so I'll right click and I'll pin to start. And also, um, so go back here. Uh, you see Internet Explorer is here. I'll actually put Internet Explorer and Edge. I'll resize Edge, for example, to have it smaller and put them one next to each other. And actually, uh, I'll put also Google Chrome pin to start, so I right click as you see and here it goes. So here's a category and you see it says it says name group. As I've been moving the tiles around you can see that there's separations, natural separations that appear. So you see here there's that little line. That's a separation from a group. So you can actually move it in a different group. So here I've got uh, the first one here so I can say this is um, mail and calendar then this one here I'll name it news and weather here I'll name this one simply Windows store and finally here web browser here goes so now I have this and of course you can add other stuff. So for example, um, I can do a different category. Well, I'll put, for example, uh, pin to start Word. I'll pin to start Excel because I do use these from time to time. Uh, PowerPoint, so these are the main three Office apps that I use. If we go back here, 
they're already in their, their own little separate group. So here I'll name this Microsoft Office. And so I have done what I want. And, you know, as we want to have more stuff, you can, of course, add any time. You can remove any time and you can play with it. Of course, you can resize uh, horizontally or vertically up to a certain point the start menu. So, for example, if you like it big, and actually I like it like this, you can really put it big, but you can also c collapse it more, you know, and have it really small. But then you'll have to uh, scroll up and down if you have too much tiles. So, personally, what I like is to have it really expanded like this. So, every time I click on the start menu, they're all there and I can click whatever without scrolling or doing anything. And I have more space here for other apps and programs that I want. So that's pretty much how you customize the um, start menu to your liking with the tiles that you want and not the tiles that everybody thinks you should have like Microsoft did when you first started Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be informing you about all the videos every time that we have one. You'll have a notification. That's why subscribing is uh, nice. Uh, give us thumbs up if you enjoyed the video also. And there'll be tons of videos to show you how to use Windows 10. So uh, keep in touch and hopefully you'll be back. Thank you for watching.